14 hours ago I posted a video before this if you haven't seen that video I encourage you to go back and uh, look into that live here at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota folks this is the you guys already seen the unboxing of that thing yesterday and the charge controller made by Xantrex and that's the uh, 60 150 uh, 60 amp and um, 150 volt DC inputs but today it's not that what we're gonna be talking about here we're gonna be talking about the the Magnusine Magnum Energy 1012 is which is a kilowatt 12 volt which has been my dream for the longest time for this project right here my portable generator kit so folks you guys can see um, the batteries I have there I've been doing tests with them all the years and guys you see those are 8 12 volt um, 22 amp hours 20 hours runtime these were designed to run on a UPC or maybe a jump packs on the car used for jump jumping a car on a jump packs guys these are the batteries they're all wired in parallel so incorporated with a number two gauge wire here I can show you 300 amps is rated for two AWG 300 volt DC you can take or 300 volts you can accommodate and right there guys another project that side is shaded is covered I don't want you guys to see what is there it's gonna be a surprise for the next video but um, this is what I'm doing right now that's why I cover that side so I don't want you to see what is there it's gonna be unveiled sooner or later now you guys already seen the shunt over there uh, Victron shunt and uh, the um, wireless dongle and guys uh, here is the magnum and what I've done yesterday so far since I got this equipment and I end up connecting to the batteries you see the battery temperature sensor I want it right there so that I can just get the um, temperature of the batteries so that it can be properly charged while I'm doing this test but uh, guys you um, I was not able to broadcast that live coverage yesterday because of uh, it was late like I said the video I just posted thank you guys for watching if you or one of them will watch the videos and give a, a like and um, you know with your comments I want to thank you guys for being part of that and that makes me really happy because we are all thrilled for this uh, particular um, project. So um, what I'm doing here today, I was going to show you that I started a test last night with my deep freezer. You guys already seen all along and the batteries were charged all the way to 2012. Um, no, sorry, 14.4. According to the battery specs, and uh, you guys can see it has been running 14 hours since yesterday. That battery bank is 22 amp hour each battery, and um, it comes up to approximately 176 amp hours total, which this Magnum cannot even read the... Um, the uh, it's supposed to be 200 then 200 amps then it started at 200 amp if you want to charge your battery or to recognize it's 200 amps but it, uh, i'm below the 200 amps this one is set up for default for battery bank so that the system knows it's a 200 amps but it's just i just leave it on, left it on 200 amps which is i had 100 176 amp hours built into this so this has been running i just connected a extension cord and threw it all the way to the freezer and uh it was running for the past 10 12 14 hours now and uh we are now 10 here 10 something um no sorry 
around past one o'clock. So I was into this thing since one last night. Okay, so guys, this is the test and everything was running. And this is the battery state of charge right now. No, sorry, the battery voltage because I don't have the, the battery BMK, battery monitor kit on this. So I can't able to tell the state of charge. I can't able to tell the, um, the percentage of the batteries right now, but I can tell the voltage. So what he's doing is on um, a power saving mode. That's why you can see, keep tweaking back and forth like that. And um, you can see a blinking light right here that tells you um, it's on power saving mode. If I can wake this guy up, then you will see it is going to be doing the blinking thing as well after a while. So let me show you the freezer. You've seen it and you guys are already in, uh, being part of these, uh, of these uh, tests ever since. But I want to bring it to an end. And it's not just going to end like that because we have a lot of stuff to take care of. Upgrading, maintenance, improving things. So guys... It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. I tell you this. It's not going to stop, but it's just going to continue. Here is the fancy dandy uh, uh, thing again here. I had the uh, Primo hooked up to it yesterday. They are all running simultaneously. The water dispenser, power saving, energy star. And uh, with the freezer, yes, it's running right now. Matter of fact, it's running because oh, my flash is on. Uh, light so I don't know if you can I can able to block that and you will see a light right there so it's running so I have it on me and the freezer is a little bit warmer that's how you know it's running and you can hear it if I get closer so it has been running that's why you see the spike coming back and forth trying to pull like 11 amps but which is not registered you can see the back and forth deck, 11 amps flashing back and forth. But this machine has been a good machine. It has been so quiet. The fan kicks in yesterday and um, just because of charging and really cool. So I don't want this video to be long. Let's do the test and um, uh, the charging of this one and see how everything goes right here at the JW Solo USA. I know you guys were concerned. Some of you guys are concerned about the broken part of this cover. I just covered this one in case something bumped in. Thank God we don't have any cats or dogs, pets in the house. So it's cool. But I have to replace this one. But um, to be honest with you, the way everything is running, nothing wrong with the machine. Nothing wrong with the machine at all. I just want to make sure let you guys know and um, like I said the expensive machines they're not cheap but anyway I want this is I'm gonna keep it and um, just monitoring it and see everything for the broken parts right here I'm not gonna worry about it too much and uh, I might probably get uh, something whatever but I cannot pass this deal let's do some um, uh, charging right now so that you can able to see I got an extension cord already incorporated here. I just have to flip the button, then it goes. And like I said, it's a color coordination here. And you can see the battery temperature sensor with the BTS. That's what it stands for. And you got a remote right here. They're all coordinating to um, that particular port. So even if you can read or even if you want to guess, you can just um, plug it right there. So someone who doesn't know how to read or doesn't understand this or read a manual, maybe a language barrier or something, then they can able to get this system uh, rock and roll right away. So what I'm going to do, um, let's go onto the charger now. I'm going to flip the switch right here and you see the behavior of the uh, inverter right here. So I'm flipping the switch. It's on, see? So let's see what the amps is going to be bringing in. So it's going to be a click on the relay. There we go. Do you hear it? You can tell it's a baby machine, but this thing is going to be robust. I want to charge it all the way to the top. And we can do a test, a load test later after this video. Stay tuned. It takes a while. A little bit of while to okay there we go spring in the amps 
it's charging 32 amps is bringing back to the batteries and see how fast this thing's going to be charging this uh little battery bank here 176 amp power um batteries here so now you already shoot all the way to 13 volt already it's on bulk mode it's charging and i can show you what i'm charging on in a 15 amp there you go the fan just kicks in listen how quiet it is so quiet right it's not like the big machines make a lot of noise these are one of the things that i can't stand it kicks up more rpm because look it's bringing about 45 amps for almost 50 amps right now on a 50 um 50 amp breaker outlet sorry so bringing 50 amps charging the batteries so we have to go up to about 14.4 or 14 points 14.6 one of the two so that's the only sound you can hear this is the update for you guys i hope you like and make sure you subscribe and share the channel and give a like and this is the project it's coming along pretty well and i hope you like that but i think what i'm gonna do just like i did for the big ones here i want to incorporate a, a bmk battery monitor kit so that i can able to see the state of charge right now i cannot see the state of charge so if we rotate you can see soc it's gonna say zero because there's nothing there you know it can communicate so all these other things they're not gonna read see that amps in amps out you can't tell so we need one that we're gonna be connecting to the port and like a, a telephone jack thing that gives you all the uh the splitting of everything that goes you put a telephone jack right there right here uh, like a just like when you have a wire connector that's gonna give you the split from the inverter you can plug this and plug the battery uh, uh, monitoring kit and you can even do the uh, automatic generator start stuff and all the other good stuff but it's just like you're running a full magnum system so bringing about 70 uh, 51 amps at 13.7 so this thing has been running the freezer like I told you guys my freezer is very efficient and um, it has been running pretty well any inverter can do that so re remember if I put lithium on those it will take forever to drain that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share live from the command center at the JW Solo USA. Bye for now.